in this video we will be talking about minor arcs, semicircles, and major arcs. Okay? Our minor arc is going to be any arc whose angle measure is less than 180 degrees. Less than 180 degrees. It's also going to be equal to the central angle. And we're going to talk about all of that. Okay? So a minor arc is less than 180 degrees and it's going to be equal to its central angle. Now I want you to write a note and know that minor arcs are named with two letters. So if you see two letters like here and you see an arc on top like here, that is going to be our arc symbol, then you know that that's a minor arc. Okay. So if we were to highlight that, because you're going to need some highlighters in order to really have success with this unit, okay, we would highlight from B to C. But we don't go inside the circle because it's a curve, so we stay on the curve. And we want to make sure that we are on that curve. And by staying on that curve, we can see that BC, and if we were to look at this, we see that it is less than 180, so this is my minor arc. Okay? Now, the central angle is the angle that makes up the minor arc. So here we had BC, the curve, so we connect going through the center point. Our center is always going to be where our angle is for our central angle. Okay? So, central angle happens at the center point. Okay? So this is our angle that we're looking. And notice I drew an arc there which is similar to this arc. Because when we've talked about angles this year, we've always used arcs to identify them. And so now the arc is just not near the point, but rather up higher. Okay? So if I tell you that this angle or this arc is 135 degrees, that means that the central angle is also 135 degrees because they are the same. Now, remember, this is the key in naming. Minor arcs use two letters. Highlight. Okay? Next up, we have semicircle, which is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? A semicircle is formed by a diameter. Diameters help us form semicircles because a diameter cuts a circle in half and allows for it to be 180 degrees on either side. So in this picture, I actually have two semicircles. I have semicircle FG. Well, technically, there should be another letter there so that we know which semicircle we're talking about. But then we also have the semicircle over here. So let's add a point here, just for good measure. We'll call it a D. Okay? So we have two semicircles. Okay? Now semicircles are going to be named with three letters. Okay? So the measure of angle, and we need to know that it also is equal to the central angle. Okay? So that means that if it's a semicircle and it's equal to 180, both the arc, uh, arc GHF and the angle GEF are going to be 180 degrees. The major arc is greater than 180 and it is also equal to its central angle. Okay? It's also named with three letters. So both semicircle and major arc are named by three letters. Okay? So if we take a look at this, we have arc B, and I follow the curve to C, and then D. Notice that this arc is definitely greater than 180. Okay? And if we use the information from the previous problem, or the minor arc, then we know that the minor arc, BD, was 135. 
which means in order to find this, I can take that and say that because the whole circle is 360 degrees, I can say that the major arc is going to be 360 minus the minor arc of BD to get my value, or 360 minus 135, which gives me 225 degrees. Okay? And that is how you name minor arcs, semicircles, and major arcs. Remember, minor arcs are named with two letters, and we stay on the curve for all of these guys. Semicircle and major arc are going to be three letters.